I think it's a, a raw expression of human emotion. That's pretty much it. Well said. Well said. Uh, actually, my my first influence, uh, one of my first influences of guitar, was uh, like rural uh, Delta blues. That was my thing, you know, kind of Robert Johnson and all that. And then I was really in a in, a, in the Muddy Waters. I'm not so into the kind of Chicago electric blues, but I, I love Muddy Waters, you know, kind of the early, especially the early stuff. Um, so I'm a massive blues fan anyway, and, and blues, you know, obviously we're influenced by jazz as well, you know, and kind of in my playing there's, there's jazz in there, but really I love the simplicity of blues and, and, and there's still that, that's the approach, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be too fancy, you know. We do, we do the drinking for the band. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's why uh, we're more portly. <laughs> you can see. <laughs> the other two are like skinny and ripped, and we're just like. So. I mean, I, I really love the, the bitters back home, you know, the IPAs. They're very different to the, to the ones here. I mean, they, you know, they, it's more like the consistency of Guinness, so it's smooth, it's not fizzy, right. and not as cold. I mean, they sell Guinness too cold here, really, you know. It's more like a Boddington's that you sometimes get here. Okay. So it's like a creamy, with, you know, Warm big meat. head and this kind of. Well, cellar temperature. Um, and there's like, um, you know, uh, pedigree, what's it, Marsden's? Marsden's, Marsden's pedigree yeah, yeah. is one of my favorites, and Timmy Taylor Landlord. I think yeah, those yeah. two are nice. There's lots, the of, lots of warm beers. Is the beer better here? Well. I prefer the way it's served back home. Um, I find beers a bit too hoppy for me here sometimes, you know. Um, and it's just because they're cold and they're fizzy, it's just a bit, I just can't get them down as What's well. I mean, you can sink beers like, like no, nobody's business back home. It's just, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's like, it's like breathing. So yeah, we started in 99 and we all met in the lead scene. It was like um, a lot of funk and soul, a lot of DJs playing funk and soul. So that was influencing the, the, the live musicians. There's a music college there, which is why pretty much we all arrived at Leeds. And um, so it just kind of grew out of that scene. And then Bob was the original guy. He got, he, he got tired of being on the road. I mean, it was hard in the early days. I mean, like the first kind of six years, we. You know, we, we were paying our way coming to America, and so it was it was hard. And um, he kind of got fed up with it, and um, and it was really easy transition because we all knew Joe, and we'd all like we'd all like played with Joe in different kind of guises, just different lineups, and so it, it was a really natural and easy transition. Um, and uh, it was Minorca, wasn't it? Where, where Pete now lives? 
Yeah, I depped for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 stu you stood in for a long time, the, yeah. and then the first gig you actually, as like as a full member of the band, was jazz. First time we went to jazz fest. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was crazy because that was and that was the one that was filmed, wasn't it? That trip. Yeah, that was the one that the movie was made about us going to New Orleans for the first time. Yeah. And that was his first. That was his baptism into the band.